Hi, Anna. Hi. Nice to meet you. Um, I'm Bailey. I'm your personal trainer from the AIF. How are you feeling today? I'm um, pretty good, yeah. Oh, that's good to hear. Well, we've got some paperwork to run through today uh, before our session begins, so we'll just get that out of the way, shall we? Yep. Just sure. take a seat here. Thank you very much. Okay, sweet. So we're just going to start with this pre-screening activity, the adult pre-exercise screening system, APSS. This is the standard uh, nationwide. Um, so this will just be to determine your um, safety and well-being, any medical conditions, um, any past injuries that may affect your performance, um, your previous history and exercise, and any emergency contacts that we need to know. Okay. Okay. It's important that you answer all of the questions on this sheet truthfully, just so we have reliable information and no one's getting hurt, everyone's safe. So this tool that we'll be running through was designed by Sports Medicine Australia. And this tool's use is to improve our client's safety, uh, identify any high risk of uh, disease that you may have currently. Um, and it was also designed to give us an idea of the intensity of the training that we'll be conducting. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll keep this uh, document in a safe place so that we can refer back to it to customize your training for the future. Cool. Yeah. All right, um, so we'll start here at our stage one of the APSS. Um, we'll start with our six compulsory questions. So if you answer, uh, yes to any of these questions we may have to get a, a referral from a, a medical professional okay okay so first question has your medical practitioner ever told you that you have a heart condition or have you ever suffered a stroke no no okay do you ever experience unexplained pains or discomforts in your chest at rest or during exercise no no uh do you ever feel faint dizzy or lose balance during physical exercise no no have you ever had an asthma attack uh, requiring immediate medical attention at any time over the last 12 months no no so do you have diabetes at all type no. one or two no, no. okay no. um do you have any other conditions that may require special consideration for your exercise mm, not that i know of no Perfect. All right. Okay. Um, on to our second part of the APSS. So are you doing any activity during your week? Uh, not at the moment. Not at the moment. So zero sessions a week. All right. All right. So from the information we've gathered here, um, we will be doing light to moderate intensity exercise and we'll just slow, uh, slowly progress you through this as to avoid any risk of injury okay yeah um so i'll just get you to sign this document down the bottom okay that's you there awesome all right and we'll get a date cool all right now that we're finished with that first document um we're going to move on to your fitness profile so this is just going to be to determine your uh if you're fit to exercise uh what your motivation behind exercising is what your fitness goals are, um, and uh, what your current fitness levels are. Okay. Right. All right, so we'll start here. I'll just get you to write your name, date of birth, and your occupation. Okay. Right. Oh, I should fill this bit out as well. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so contact details, your address, um, phone number, email, emergency contact. Mm -hmm. All right. And then we'll All move right. on to health and fitness goals. All right. So some examples of goals that you may have for your fitness journey uh, could be just to lose body fat, to tone your body shape. Um, it could be to increase your energy levels or just uh, enhance your everyday life. Okay. So I'll just get you to write your number one goal and when you want to achieve this goal by, and then 
uh, just write down some other goals that you may have while we are training. And then I'll get you to write down what your motivation is or what keeps you moving. Okay. Okay, thank you. So okay. awesome, what we have here. Um, so you want to do some boxing training. Awesome. And your goal is to lose five kilograms. And you would like to do this in roughly three months time. Yeah, so that is a, that's a very good goal. Very nice goal. Um, very achievable, I think. And um, some other goals that you have to stay active, healthy and fit. Yeah, that's awesome. And we need you to be successful. Constant support and motivation. Yeah. All right, sweet. So we can definitely get this done in three months time, I think. And I will be pushing you hard. I will be motivating you to complete this goal. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we will move on to the next part. So are you exercising at the moment? No. no. Um, so your APS stage one result was moderate. Um, okay. So, what is your history in exercise? Um, so, up to six months ago, I was um, playing netball twice a week yep. and I was actually attending a group exercise class twice a week as well. Yep, awesome. So, that's great. Some sports, some exercise classes, four sessions a week. That's amazing. All right. So, have you been pregnant recently? No, no. My kids are older now. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Not recently. Um, do you have any serious medical concerns? No, I actually have pretty good general health. Good general health? Cool. Um, any regular medications that we might no, really know not, about? No, not on anything. Awesome. All right. Oh, very nice. So we have completed your fitness profile. Okay. And we will now move on to your health checkup. Okay. So we'll just be doing some basic um, like heart rate tests, um, body fat tests, BMI, etc. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. So we're going to begin our health testing. Uh, so this is going to be to get an idea of your base fitness levels to compare to our future results. And um, we're just going to identify any healthcare risks that you may have currently. Okay. All right. First test we are going to do is a resting heart rate test. So, um, right, to do this uh, examination, I'm just going to hold your wrist uh, up, uh, well, in front of your wrist to the sky, and I'll put two fingers on the big blood vessel, and I'm going to measure how many pulses uh, that vessel has in 30 seconds. And what we'll do with that is we'll multiply the result by two, and that will give us your resting heart rate per minute. Okay. So this test um, just gives us an indication of your overall cardiovascular fitness. Okay. Yeah. Okay Is it okay if I hold your wrist for this test? Yep. Awesome. So let's get started now. Uh, 30 second timer. I'll just grab your wrist. That's okay. Thank you very much. Um, and we will... And we'll start the timer. Alright, awesome. So I have that now. And we'll just do that by two. Alright, so your resting heart rate is 72, which is uh, reasonably healthy um, within the, say, uh, 
basic uh, Australian guidelines to a healthy resting heart rate. Okay. So that's good. Good to start with. Awesome. If you stuff it up, just keep going. Um, so the next examination we're going to do today is the blood pressure uh, examination and this will be done using the blood pressure machine. Uh, so what I'm going to do is strap this on your upper arm and then uh, we're going to press the start button. It will inflate and give us a blood pressure reading and a resting heart rate reading. Okay. So we got a reading of 111 and a resting reading of 76, which is pretty, pretty good, pretty um, in the middle. Okay, so are you wearing any, uh, are you wearing acceptable clothing underneath, like a sports bra or something? Yeah, sure, yeah. Okay, are you okay with taking your shirt off? Yeah, no okay. worries. Yeah. Awesome. Right, so the second test we're going to conduct today is the waist hip ratio test. So this is going to be your waist measurement and your hip measurement and this is going to give us an indication of your overall body fat levels and it's also going to give us an idea of if you're at risk of um, chronic health diseases. Uh, so the first one we're going to do is the waist measurement. So for this one I'll get you to stand completely straight, uh, weight distributed evenly between your legs and, um, and we'll also get you breathing normally, make sure you're not sucking in at all. Okay. Awesome. So I'll just give you a demonstration here. Um, line this one up with your belly button, horizontally around the back, and then meet at the front, making sure we're not twisting the tape at all. Um, making sure we're not pulling too tight. And meeting in the middle. And we get the measurement here. Awesome. Okay. Thank you. All right, so for the second measurement, we are going to do the hip measurement. So what we're doing for this one is measuring this in the same way that we did the first one, but this time we're going around the, the greatest, uh, the part where your bottom sticks out the most. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So if we did mine, come around here. Yeah. We all good with that one? Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Sure. Okay. So I need to check what. Whether I got it in the right spot. Down a little bit more. Yep. Yep. Uh, Is that right? Straight, flat, yep. How's that? Awesome, yep, yeah, that's perfect. Um, one, oh, eight. Oh. So the third test we're going to do is a body mass index calculation. So for this one, we're just going to take your weight and height, weight in kilograms on a scale and your height in centimeters against the wall. And this is just going to give us a, um, an idea of your body weight distribution um, in relation to your height. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right, so we'll start with the weight um, calculation. So I'll just get you to take your shoes and socks off and we'll zero the scale here. And then step on and we'll grab that measurement. Okay. That's all good? Yep. 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 Okay. Cool. Alright, 
0.45. All right, so the last measurement we're gonna to take today is just a simple height measurement. So what I'm gonna get is you to stand against this wall, heels and head against the wall. Then I'll make a mark above your head using the ruler and the pencil. And then once we have that mark on the wall, I will use a tape measure to get the height from there. Okay. Awesome. Sweet. Head against the wall, please. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Awesome. Let's see the dot. Easy. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. And that'll be the end of our health checkup today. Alright, so now that we have finished our health checkups, we're just gonna do your lifestyle plan. Like how many times you're gonna exercise during the week, what intensity we're gonna train at, etc. Um, so, how active is your current job? I'm uh, actually not working. I'm stay-at-home mum, so okay. do do fairly light duties and housework okay. at the moment. Yep. Okay. So we'll do some light activities. And how active is your day? Ah, uh, mostly light. Um, generally not. And uh, sometimes, you know, I'll have to go for a, uh, a long walk or whatever, so yeah. Oh, okay. I'm trying to stay active. Relatively light. Uh, how many hours of sleep do you generally get? Oh, probably about six to seven. Six to seven hours, yeah. Awesome. In the past month, in the past month, uh, how often have you been physically restricted to perform any exercise? Ah, uh, not at all. Not at all? Easy. Um, what uh, most accurately describes your current diet? A uh, healthy diet does not require changing. Uh, there are a few changes that I would like to make to improve my health or uh, my diet requires a number of changes that I'm not sure where to start. No, I feel like my diet's pretty good. I don't think I need to change anything. Okay, good, good. My diet is healthy, sweet. Um, so nutrition consultation, no. All uh, right, so we'll do your exercise plan now. Uh, how much time can you commit to your exercise plan per week, do you think? Oh, probably maybe two days a week and maybe a couple of hours on each day. Yep, okay. So two days a week and we'll do one to two hour sessions. All right. Um, what time do you, of day do you prefer to exercise? Probably in the mornings after I drop the kids at school yep. or maybe um, after lunch in the afternoon. Yep, awesome. Sweet. Uh, what days would you prefer to train on? Um, I don't really have a preference, but yeah, maybe Tuesday, Wednesday, or Fridays. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. Some good options there. Um, what fitness activities interest you? Uh, just general sports, because obviously sports. I've played netball before, yep. and um, I like my group exercise classes like circuits and stuff like that. And yep. then um, what I'm really keen to do is just start doing some boxing. Yep, awesome. Boxing. Boxing for sure. Um, what intensity do you think you'll be training at? Uh, I probably want to get started fairly low, but I like to like move up faster yep. if I could. Yep, sweet. We'll start low and we'll gradually move towards a moderate standard of training. Uh, what physical activities do not interest you? Oh, just general cardiovascular, like sitting on a bike, yep. like, or walking a treadmill for hours. Yeah, mm. okay, yeah. Brain numbing, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, bike riding and treadmills. All right, so I'll just... So on this one here, and then I'll get you to sign at the bottom, uh, write your name as well. Thanks. Okay. Very nice, awesome. So that is, that's everything we need so far. Yeah, so we will move on to the practical part of the session now. Okay.